Hello, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a very beautiful website like this using HTML and CSS. So I'm gonna walk you through how to create everything step-by-step -step with no steps skipped. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. This is a file, this is a background image, as you can see. This is the image I use for the background. And then this is actually the logo. So these are the things we're gonna use. And then I'm gonna open my favorite code editor and then I have my HTML and then the CSS file created. So I'm going to just generate the HTML file and here I'm just going to give a title. I'm just going to name it website. Okay, so I'm going to first create a container here and I'm going to call this container. Now within this container, we're actually going to add our background. So I'm first going to link a CSS file in the header. So I'm going to link my CSS file in the header. So this is my CSS file. Now I can come into my CSS file and then just start writing my CSS. I'm first just going to reset my browser. So I'm going to change the margin to zero and also padding also to zero. And I'm going to assign a general font. So I'm going to assign area Havetica in a sans serif. That's the font I'm going to use. And I'm going to target my container. This is the container class I've created over here. So I'm just going to target that class just by saying dot container. And this is where I'm actually going to add my background. I'm actually going to add my background image right there. Okay, so we're actually going to go ahead and then add the background. First, we're going to make the width. We're going to set our width as 100%. And then we're going to set the height also. The height is going to be 100 view point and we're going to make a background image we're going to actually add a background image here but i'm going to apply a gradient on it gradient on top so i'm going to use linear gradient it's going to be rgb and over here i'm actually going to add zero 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 and zero point seven five i'm actually going to copy this Bring a comma, paste this, and actually what I'm going to do next is I want to now add the image. Okay, so I'm just going to add the image URL here, the URL of my image, and my image is within this folder. Okay, the background image is within this folder, so I'll make sure I target that. So it's going to be this slash, that's the background image, and I'm going to select that. Now, when I save this and I go back now, I'm totally going to open this in the browser. So this is my file. This is my browser. Now I have the image, but it's quite very huge. So you can see I have my image here and I'm just going to apply some settings actually to format this image. So I'm going to go ahead and then add some few class and I'm going to say background. So I'm going to give a background size. Okay. I'm going to give a background size and that should be cover. Okay, so this is going to be cover and then my background position is also going to be center. So position, so I'm just going to make a background position. And this is going to be center. And this time around, if I go ahead and load this page, my image should be well fit in the center. So you can see now I have my image well placed at the center. Now we're going to go ahead and then add our nav bar. I'm going to add the nav back within this container. So I'm actually going to come here and then create another div. So this is going to be a new div called nav bar. And then over here, I'm going to add image. And it's actually going to be my logo. So it's actually going to be my logo. Okay. And I'm actually not going to add any class for now. And under this, we're going to add the link item so i'm going to add ul and then within this ul i'm actually going to add my links okay i'm actually not going to direct this to anything so it's going to be home and i'm just going to duplicate this and just change this to about change this also to let's say services and 
I'll just make this one concert. Okay, so I'm going to save this and then go back to my browser and then reload this. You can see we now have, you can see we now have the logo and then the links over here. So we're actually trying to achieve something like this. Remember, this is our target. So we want to achieve something like this. Now we're going to go ahead and then format our URL. And that's the nav bar. We're going to format our nav bar. So let's go ahead and then format the nav bar. So I'm going to go back to my CSS and then target my nav bar. Okay, I'm going to give my nav bar a weight of 85%. So it's going to be 85%. Mm. And I'm going to also give a margin of auto. So my margin is actually going to be auto. And padding. I'm going to give a padding of 37. That's top bottom. And the left right is going to be zero. I'm also going to give a display. I'm actually going to display this as flex. Okay. I'm going to display this as flex. And a line item is actually going to be center. Okay. A line item is going to be center. And I'm going to justify content space between. So I'm going to use space between. Okay. So let me save this. And then when we come back here and then we reload this, you can see we now have this. We have space between this. We have this wall aligned. Okay. So that is for our nav bar. Now we're going to target the URL, the links within this nav bar. Okay. So let's go ahead and then target. So this is going to be the nav bar, UL, then airline. So we're going to target the list items. And then with the list item, we're going to say, our list style is going to be none. We're also going to give a display of inline block. So let's display this display inline block. And padding. I'm going to give a padding of zero top bottom and 18 left right. Okay, so let's just make it 18. So this is going to be 18 pixels left, right. So let's load this and see this in our browser. So we are just trying to provide some space there. You can see this is actually well aligned now, but we are actually going to work on the colors. So we're going to target the anchor. That's the link. So we're actually going to copy this. We're going to copy this and paste this here, but we're going to target the link, the anchor. And this time around, we're going to see text. Text decoration is going to be none. And we're also going to set text transform. We want to change everything to cap. So text transform, I'm going to use upper. I'm going to set it to upper case. And then my color is going to be actually white. Okay. So I'm going to set my color to what white. Okay. So when I go back and I reload this, this should be looking better as you can see at the moment this is looking perfect okay so we have the list item we have we want to apply some hover effect so i'm going to add some hover effect to this particular one so i'll go back copy the same thing now copy the same thing and then apply some hover effect to this so i'm going to say hover and for the hover effect i'm going to give a background of I'm going to use orange red for the background and the color we should be I'm going to use black for the font so I'm going to say color so this should be black I'm also going to add some padding to this a padding of 10 pixels I'm going to add a padding of 10 pixels to this So you can see now we have some effects for some hover effects on our menu so i think that is done we can also make this a link so the logo over here we can make it a link so if you want to make a logo to redirect this back to home then all we can do is to go back here and then 
for the logo we can give this a class of logo I can give this a class of logo and then when i come back here i can just target my class logo and i'll say kesa pointer okay so actually we can provide a link and then make the kesa clickable make the logo clickable by applying kesa pointer so if i reload this and i bring my kesa on top of this you can see now it's showing as a pointer so we can actually apply link to this and then redirect this back to the home now we're going to add our text over here the text at the center that is the next thing we're going to do we're going to add it at the center so now i'm going back here go back to my file and then just after the number here i'm actually going to add a section here i'm actually going to add a section within this section i'm going to add each one and i'll say start programming okay and below that i'm going to add i'm going to add a paragraph and this paragraph contain this paragraph contain a lorem text of let's say 25 and let me just select this and try to wrap this text so that it doesn't go beyond my page so i'll go to view and i come to wet wrap so it's going to break this one down for me and i want to just include some line break i'll just include some line break within this so br i'm going to include here some line break here let me save this and go back and then reload this okay so we're actually here let me reload this and we have this text over here now i'm going to just write css to format this text this text is actually here we're actually going to use css to actually format that so let's go ahead and then target our section and then write css to format it so I'll come down here just scroll down and then target my section so my section i'm going to give my section a weight of i'm going to give a section a weight of 100 percent I'll give a position of absolute so i'm going to give absolute position to my section and the top top is going to be 50 percent i'm going to transform this i want it to come to the center so i'm going to use transform then i'm going to use translate and i'm going to use y and this is actually going to be minus 50 percent i want to move this to the center and also i'm going to align this text at center so my text is going to be center and then finally i want to make the color white so my color is going to be white okay so let's save this we go back to our browser and then reload this so you can see we now have everything well aligned at the center all we need now is to Okay, what we need now is to make sure we increase the size of this font and then add a button to that. So we're going to target the each one within the section. So all we need to do is to come down here, target our section and then target the each one. And then I'm going to make the font size. I'm going to give a font size of 85 pixels. Okay, and this is going to make the fonts as big as I want. So you can see and i have a very large font size for this now let's go ahead and also format the paragraph so this is a paragraph here we need to format the paragraph within that so we'll go back here target the section and this time i'm going to target the paragraph within that and for the paragraph i'm going to give a font width i'm going to give a font width sorry i want to give a font width. i've already defined a standard font size for that the font family so i'm going to give a font weight of 100 i'm also going to give a line height so i want to give a line height of probably 20 pixels and i'm going to give you a set a margin for this and my margin is going to be 18 18 pixels for the top and bottom and the left right i'm going to set it to auto okay so if i do this and i go back to my page and i reload it you can see i'm going to provide some space between this and have a line height of 20 
pixels. Now the next thing we need to do is to set our buttons. So we're going to bring our buttons and then we actually going to write code to format our button. So just as I have over here, that's the next thing we need to do. So I'm going to introduce my buttons over here. I'm going to do that within my HTML. So I'm going to set a button down here. Let's actually create a diff here first before we do that. So I'm going to create a diff and within this diff, let me set my button. So the first one is actually going to be let's say learn more so i'm going to say learn more and i'm going to duplicate this for the second button see okay so let me just give let's say watch now okay so these are the two buttons i want to add so let's go back to our page and then reload this you can see we have the two buttons here. We just have to write CSS to format it to have something like this. Okay, so we're actually going to write CSS next to format our button. We'll go back to our CSS. Let me scroll down. Now I'm going to target my button. And with my button, I'm going to give a width of around 200 pixels. So it's going to be a width of 200 pixels. I'm going to also set a padding. I'm going to set a padding of 14. Okay, let me make it 15 pixels, top bottom, and zero left right. And I'm also going to set a text align. I want to align all my text to the center. I'm going to align all my text to the center, and I'm going to set a margin. And this margin is going to be 25 pixels, top bottom, and 10 pixels, left right. It's okay. So that's going to be for my margin and then i'm also going to add a border radius okay let me add a border radius of around 25 pixels i'm going to add a border radius of around 25 pixels and i'm going to set a font weight to bold so i'm going to set a font weight to bold and also i'm going to set a border i'm going to apply a border to this and the border is going to be two pixels solid and this is going to be orange red okay and i'm going to make the background transparent background My background is going to be transparent and i'm going to set the color to white color is going to be white and i'm going to set the cursor to pointer and finally what i want to do next is to transform my text actually i made my text caps already so i don't need to transform that okay so my text already caps so i don't need to do that so let me just reload this so you can see how amazing this now is looking this is not looking perfect as we want if you compare it to our finished work everything is set now now the last thing we need to do is to actually to apply the hover effect when we move our cursor on top then we should be getting something like this so that's the last thing we need to do. Remember to subscribe if today is your first time and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. Now I'm going to do the last thing which is going to be the hover effect. So I'm going to save my background. So, so it's actually going to be button dot hover. And over here what I'm going to do is I'm going to make set the background. And the background is going to be the orange red and my color is going to be white i'm going to set my color to white so i'm going to save this reload this in my browser so now if i bring my cursor on top of this you can see i've already applied the hover effect to this and this is basically the step to creating a completely finished website you can create individual pages and then link this one to that and this is a static website there's a lot of videos coming up in order not to miss the like subscribe and don't forget the notification and don't forget to turn on post notification also leave a comment at the comment section or whatever views you have about this just let me know share it with me till i come away again bye bye